Welcome to my lecture online. Here we have two pairs of triangles and we're trying to determine if they are congruent or not. And remember that one of the ways which is fail-safe to determine if two triangles are congruent is to see if their corresponding sides have the same length. So here we have the first triangle from A, B, C back to A and the second triangle which, ooh, D, E, F, I guess I need another letter here to indicate this corner right there so let's put an F there so we have a second triangle that is D E F back to D now notice that this side has the same length as this side so we can say that these are two corresponding sides that have the same length also notice that this side and this side have the same side uh, same length so these are two corresponding sides with the same length and now you can see that there's a partial overlap the section from F to C is common for both, but for the bottom triangle, it would be F to C, so we have FC plus 3 for this, end, for this little piece right there. For the top triangle, we have FC plus 2, yeah, plus 2 for that little piece over here. Notice that these are not the same length and therefore not congruent. All right, let's come over here. Again, we have two triangles. Notice that we have this side and this side, which have the same length. So those are two corresponding sides that have the same length. And here and here, we can see that these two sides have corresponding lengths or corresponding sides that have the same length. And then you can see that the section from B to E is common for both. But this triangle has one extra unit over here, and this triangle has one extra unit over here. So you can see that on both sides, we have BE plus 1, and I don't need that little angle, that's not a vector. And here we have BE plus 1 for this triangle. And notice they're exactly the same, so therefore this, well, that would be for this triangle right here, is the same as that for that triangle. Well, it's kind of hard to mark it that way, but you can see here indeed that the length of this side for this triangle is the same as the length of this side for that triangle, and th therefore Yes, they are congruent triangles, and that is how it's done.